Hi, my name is Justine Harrison and I am really excited about broad comedy. It sounds like it's right up my alley. I am a feminist, I'm an actor, I'm a comedian, and broad comedy sounds wonderful. Um, I've been a feminist like all my life. My mom passed it on to me. She um, was a hippie in the 60s, burnt her bra, etc, etc. Um, I went to the march on DC in 04 to march for women's rights and lives, pro-choice activism and reproductive rights, etc. Pro-choice um, issues and women's rights issues and reproductive rights has been a huge driving force for me throughout my entire adult life. And this election cycle is giving me agita. Like I can't, I can't even deal with just exactly how much agita that this election cycle is giving me. And I'm sure you can agree. You have to agree, right? Um, and just one other quick um, anecdote about just how much of a feminist, feminist I am. And that is I went to Virginia for my cousin's wedding and I visited Monticello, which is Jefferson's estate. And at the end of the tour, there was little note cards and a quill pen that you could write a message with in quill pen. So, you know, you could write like an amendment or a note about Jefferson. Great for kids. My nieces were there. And in quill pen at Monticello, I wrote on the note card, keep your laws off my body. And I put it right on the line there where all the other little messages were drawing. So hopefully everyone sees that. Keep your laws off my body. Hey, I'm doing a monologue from Woody Allen's To Rome With Love. Guess what? I got a part. I got a part in a movie. It's high budget. It shoots in Los Angeles and in Tokyo. Like, one month in Los Angeles and four months in Japan. I mean, assuming all goes well according to time and everything, but I have to leave tonight. And <laughs> it has been like my dream in life to spend time in the Far East. This is so exciting. Oh my God, I can't wait to just get back to Los Angeles and see my acting coach. Max Trammell is directing. I know, I love his work. Oh my God. And I know he's like totally on drugs, but that burnt out look is so sexy on him. I mean, and to be honest, he's the only one I would trust to direct all the nude scenes I have. I just, I'm just so excited. I just have to get back to Los Angeles. I have to lose five pounds. I have to lose five pounds. I just can't. Oh, I have to start running again. Oh, the writer saw me on the TV thing that I did and he flipped out over my quality. Oh my God, this part is such a good showcase for me. Oh my God. I just hope it's not like London where it's so hard to bring a pet. I'll be doing a song that Zoe Deschanel wrote for SNL. It's February, the day is 14, but from the look on your face, you don't know what that means. Don't even try it, don't try to deny it, you forgot it was Valentine's Day. You tried to scramble and whip something up, but your balloons say happy birthday, and your card says muzzle tov. There's no mistaking, don't bother faking. You forgot it was Valentine's Day. I did that for a cabaret in New York City.